Hare Krishna, dear devotees, welcome to our Iskand Bulla official YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss 53rd chapter of Canto 10. It describes about the marriage of uh, Lord with Rukmini. Mm. So, as we have heard in the next last uh, chapter, 52, that uh, Brahman delivered the message of Rukmini to the Lord, uh, which was described in um, 47 verses. Mm. So, after that, the Lord started, <coughs> Lord said to Brahmana that, uh, that uh, I am indeed attracted to Rukmini and I know of her brother Rukmi's opposition to my marrying her. Therefore, I must kidnap her after crossing all the low class kings just as one might generate fire from wood by friction, since the solemnizing of vows between Rukmini and Shishupala was scheduled to occur in only three days, Lord Krishna had Daruka ready his chariot at once. Then he immediately set out for Vidarbha, which reached after one night's travel. Hmm. King Vismaka, trapped by his affection for his son, Rukmi was prepared to give his daughter to Sisipa. Bhishmaka saw to all the necessary preparations. He had the city decorated in various ways and had its main roads and intersections thoroughly cleansed. Uh, Damagho saw the king of Chedi, the father of uh, Sisipa, having also done everything necessary to prepare for his son's marriage, arrived in Vidarbha. King Vismaka greeted him properly and gave him a place to stay. Many other kings such as Jarasandha, Salva and Dattabakra also came to witness the occasion. These enemies of Krishna had conspired to kidnap the bride if Krishna came. They planned to fight with him and together and thus guarantee Sisupar his bride. Hearing of these plans, Lord Baladeva gathered his entire army and quickly went to Kundinapur. No, the present day Nagapur and they are in Dwaraka. So on the night before the wedding, Rukmini, about to retire, had uh, still not seen either the Brahmana or Krishna arrive. In anxiety, she caused her bad fortune, but just then she felt her left side twitch, a good omen. Indeed, the Brahmana shortly appeared and related to her what Krishna had said, including his firm promise to kidnap her. When King Vismaka heard that Krishna and Balaram had arrived, he went out to greet them to the accompaniment of a triumphant music. He worshipped the lords with various gifts and then um, designated residences for them. Thus, the king showed due respect to the lords as he did to each of his uh, numerous royal guests. And the people of Vidarbha, seeing Lord Krishna, remarked to one another that he alone would be a suitable husband for Rukmini. It is described by Sukadeva Goswami as if they are drinking the beauty of uh, the Lord through their eyes. Hmm. After going down uh, in this way, they prayed that on the strength of whatever pious credit they had, Krishna might win Rukmini's hand. When the time came for Srimadhi Rukmini Devi to visit the temple of Sriambika, she proceeded here and proceeded there surrounded by many guards. After going down to the deity, Rukmini prayed to be allowed to have Sri Krishna as her husband. Hmm. Actually, this uh, Ambika Devi is the maid servant of the Lord and also of uh, Rukmini Devi. But uh, this is uh, even past times going on. Hmm. So, <coughs> then after praying, uh, Ambika Devi, she took the hand of a girlfriend and left her, left the Ambika temple. Uh, the whole world, kings of the whole world have gathered there to oppose Krishna's taking away Rukmini. So it is stated in text 54, 
that Petu, Kitu, Gajarathasu, Gata, Vimudha, Jatra, Chalina, Hare, Arpaitim, Sub, Subham, Saivam, Sani, Stalati, Chalapadmako, So, Praptim, Tada, Hagavata, Prasamikimana. The beauty of Rukmini Devi is, uh, she is uh, Lakmi. Hmm? Petu, Kitu, uh, the whole. Where is attention? Sabadhan position. If Krishna might uh, kidnap, they were in that uh, attention position with all the, their uh, swords, etc., with their weapons. But when they saw the beauty of Rukmini Devi, they fell down. Kito and the, on the heart. Ratha Asu Gatha Gatha Vimudha. Somewhere on uh, elephant. Somewhere on uh, chariot, somewhere on uh, horses, eh? what they fell down. Jatra chalena harai arpaitim su sabham. When uh, Rukmin Devi uh, saw, he, she wanted to see Lord Krishna, but by in the process, the kings saw the <laughs> beauty of uh, Rukmin Devi, the face of Rukmin Devi. Some say, some Acharya say, actually Rukmini Devi is transcendental. So these uh, kings are mortals. How can they see uh, the beauty of uh, um, this transcendental um, queen of the Lord? But it is only her uh, maya, illusory energy they saw. But till, still then, they saw her walking and they um, um, fell down from their um, horses, etc. Such is the beauty of Rukmini Devi. Tibhasidur Swami in his commentary says, Chalat Padma Kosau Tulyavu Charanau Chalanti. When Rukmini Devi was walking, as if a lotus flower is walking, like that. So beauty. Uh, seeing her inexpressible beauty, the great heroes present dropped their weapons and fell to the ground unconscious. Rukmini walked with deliberate steps until she noticed Krishna. Then as everyone looked on, Sri Krishna took Rukmini onto his chariot like a lion claiming his rightful share from a band of jackals. He drove back all the opposing kings and slowly made his exit, followed by his associates. Jarasandha and the other kings, unable to bear their defeat and dishonor, loudly condemned themselves, declaring that this defamation was like a petty animal stealing away what rightfully belongs to the lion. They were thinking themselves to lion and Krishna as a um, petty animal, a jackal, like that. <laughs> and uh, Rukmi, her brother, will promise that I will kill Krishna. If I don't kill him, I won't return to this Kundanapur. In this way, in the next chapter, we'll hear. Uh, but anyway, uh, I thank you all for hearing to our, our lecture. And I also request you to subscribe, share, and uh, uh, like our channel and get the blessings of the Lord. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Oh,